Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in light of the recent 9000 series release, the Ryzen 9000 series from AMD, as well as some of the CPU parking issues on the 3D Vcash uh, models, uh, it got me thinking, what would happen if I upgraded or made sure my chipset is up to the latest and greatest? Because it's been a year since I first installed the B650 chipset from AMD, and will I gain any performance, even if it's minuscule, by just updating my drivers? I wanted to test that out, run some tests. I got uh, not only uh, the 3D Mark, Benchmate, probably going to run a few games on Steam. And I just want to see what is the performance uplift by updating my drivers. You can see right now on the computer, my driver file version is 5.516529. But if we go to AMD's website, the latest one is 6. 0.07.22.037 and that release date is july 26 while on the driver that's been installed it's august 10th of 2023 so over almost a year since i've updated the driver my chipset drivers will that yield an actual performance increase let me run the test and give you the numbers And there you have it. So overall, in this small sample size that we tested, we saw a 3 to 5% increase in performance just by updating our chipset drivers. And normally when I say, hey, go ahead and update your drivers, nine times out of 10, people are considering or thinking of what? Their GPU drivers. So they go to NVIDIA, they go to Intel, they go to AMD, look up their model number of their GPU and get the latest and greatest drivers. However, if we had a system that has a year plus old NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, GPU driver, a year plus old chipset driver, and another one that requires a little bit more technical know-how, uh, updating their UEFI or BIOS version, right? Because there's improvements in the BIOS versions, not only for the motherboard, but for the CPU, power delivery, so on and so forth. And if all of those are a year plus old, you could be leaving a substantial amount of performance on the table. Now, updating your BIOS can be a little bit more challenging if you're not uh, technical or versed in computers as a whole, and not a lot of motherboards offer the quick and easy, what's called flashback capability, where you just plug in or download the ROM to a USB, plug it into your computer, and then it will automatically read or update the BIOS. But these few things, updating your chipset drivers, your GPU drivers, or your BIOS could uplift performance. And the point of this video is that the chipset drivers are often not considered when people update drivers. So I hope that you're not leaving performance on the table. If you are, don't be afraid to ch uh, check it out. Very good articles and information and guides out there to help you identify uh, how to update your chipset drivers or whatever driver it might be. And while we did only a small sample size, a few synthetic benchmarks, for example, Speedway or other 3D benchmarks are not the end-all be-all when it consider that as, as, yeah, I should be seeing XYZ percentage in performance uplift on regular games. Yeah, that's not always the case because Nomad, we only saw about 1%, and on Cinebench, we got a minuscule uplift as well. But in Speedway and a couple of others, we saw anywhere between 5 to 7% increase. So overall, I'm going to say 3 to 5% just by updating my chipset driver that was over a year old. And again, it is a small sample size, so you need to test this out for yourself and see what the performance increase would be if you did update to the latest and greatest. But I just wanted to share this information with you. I hope you got some useful knowledge out of it. And if you did, please do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description. That will support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.